Shalom, giving all praise and air glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Kakadash, and double honor to the elder pastors, elder bishops, and brothers on Dung and Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother, I, Ban Yamian. Here to share another lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying unto the elect. Title of the lesson is um, War. Now, there's war going on in the spiritual side of things, the spiritual world, and there's a war going on on the carnal side. For many of you, you have um, seen, you know, your lives has, has been uh, more difficult or more vexing or provoking, you know, in your day-to-day -day, uh, dealings, you know, whether it be, you know, your, your house uh, is in disarray, your vehicle, you know, people that you once ruled with or that was good with you is no uh longer want to be part of your company right people on the road uh is provoking you you know cutting you off or there's just an increase of vexation and that is war um in the spirit why because you are seeking the heavenly father and his the only, only begotten son now these wicked spirits they see that on you so they are warring with you because remember the scripture said if you was a uh, part of the world, the world will receive you, right? So the world hate not uh, you or us, but the clean presence of the Heavenly Father that is in your life. And on the flip side of that, you know, we got the wars and rumors of wars, you know, going on between these uh, European uh, foreign nations. You know what I'm saying? But these things, you know, you know, us, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, the most high break it down, you know, to us starting with, you know, the apostles and elders and going all the way back to High Priest Arian and the elder Abba Bivens, right, to make these things um, playing upon tables. So I'm going to visit the book of Habakkuk real quick, if you would follow me. Uh, chapter 2 and verse 2. <coughs> I'm using my paper sword this time, and not the cell phone. So, um, bear with me. Yeah, I like doing um a lesson where I'm actually turning the pages of the um uh of the Bible. Alright, so this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. And it said, chapter 2 and verse 2, Salakia. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. Right? So we're running to these are chief uh, places of concourse, the highways and hedges to warn all people. It says, uh, verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right? So, those things in the scriptures that is difficult for the majority of our people to understand, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, you know, we made it plain for them to understand, right? Where it is not hidden and it is not a mystery for them, and that serves the purpose of uh them repenting through the simplicity of the understanding right and also where they have no um they cannot say that they did not receive the understanding right so the most i could judge them also on that right and um you, you know in these times there are songs of these prophecies because in habakkuk 2 chapter ch chapter 2 and verse 2 and 3 you know, they talk about making it plain upon tables, right? But they are songs of um, prophecy, you know, battle songs, right? Just as how you will hear a, a siren coming on the road, you may think it's a police or ambulance. That means there's an emergency going on somewhere, right? And then you got to proceed with caution. Well, here in First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 6, it gives the, the song of prophecy, the song of um, battle. Because those are the times that we are living in. The song of, of battle 
you know, is you sighing and crying when you are provoked, vexed by the sin and the abominations that is um, taking place in this world. So there's also a song of um, prophecy and song of battle. So I'm going to grab that in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Lesson won't be too long. Um, So this is First Corinthians chapter six, chapter fourteen, and verse six. Lucky it says, "Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge, or by prophesying or by doctrine?" Right. So, like it said in Habakkuk two and three, you know, make it plain upon tables. So, you know, like it said, you know, it is not prophesying, it's not profitable to the people if they hear something that they can't um, comprehend, you know what I mean? So, to make it simple, the apostles and elders, you know, the prophets, they went into their prophecy to make people understand when these things are coming about. It says, uh, verse 7, And even things without life, given song, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the songs, how shall it be known what is piped or harp, right? So how would we know? You know that these prophecies are coming uh, into place. Verse 8, it says, For if the trumpet give an uncertain song, who shall prepare himself for battle? Right? So likewise, he, except he utter by the tongue words easy to be understood how shall it be known what is spoken for he shall speak into the ear right people are gonna go join him or the other people because people ain't gonna understand you know what i mean going back to habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2 and 3 also says you know you, you know make it plain upon tables to, to be understood right last verse was 10 it says there are it may be so many kind of voices in the world and none of them is without significance right so every song has an importance now remember what i said you know you may hear you know a siren coming on the road police or, or ambulance meaning that there is an emergency close by taking place and you know you need to proceed with caution same thing with a car you hear a car engine coming down the road and you are about to cross the street and again closer that mean that an object is approaching in your direction and you need to you know proceed with caution and you need to do certain things to operate in safety upon hearing that so every song you know like i said pipe to harp every song has a significant you understand and right now we are in the songs of battle the songs of you know prophecies these earthquakes in diverse places uh, these wars and rumors of wars that is happening over there in uh, in Eastern Europe, you know. So we need to pay attention to these things and um, proceed accordingly, right? Because this place is um, is coming down. This is no time to seek to uh, retire here 30, 40 years. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to grab the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse... 14 is we need to pay attention to these signs is the signs and warnings of um, war Jeremiah chapter uh, This is Jeremiah 15 and 14. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon. Right? That is to uh, prepare. To prepare to fight. Right? All he that bend the bow, shoot, the, uh, shoot at her, spare no arrows. 
for she had sinned against the most high so those arrows are talking about the the missiles right those arrows are talking about the missiles that is going to be shot over here where this place would be burnt up with two more nuclear uh you know fire you know what i'm saying because this place has sinned against the most high they have taken the children of the most high captive and they have also allowed sin to increase you know remember um the scriptures talk about when the um the councilman and the, the officers of alexander when he died you know and they went about ruling different parts of the world <clears throat> you know sin increase you know what i'm saying so beside taking us captive and keeping us captive and exploiting us even to this day right and making the the affliction worse they see they destroy us with the food with the air that we breathe with the water that we drink right they have also allowed um, abominations you know like the unclean men and women that uh, make no use you know of themselves that have, seek to have you know fam and nuclear family and children they have allowed these things to to thrive you know so all these things the eyes are, the eyes of the lord are upon and he's going to bring you know the plagues especially the missiles upon this place you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna grab that in the book of uh, amos and stuff real quick uh amos chapter 9 and um in the first eight because this place must be destroyed all wars must come to an end the war that you are fighting on a day-to-day -day basis with the increase uh vexations the increase trials the increase um tribulations that you are going through in the spirit right now these things are also happening on the carnal side uh, <clears throat> This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. And it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord of the Most High Abashim are upon a sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Most High. So the, the Lord is coming for his uh, his his elect. Right? He's going to preserve and protect you know his elect those that seek after him those that fear and love him and the two-thirds of amongst our people is going to be uh, destroyed so this is a promise um of the most high right but because this nation had sinned babylon the great had sinned against the most high they has taken right his children right they are taking his children and they have allowed you know abominations and wickedness to continue and thrive um in the society and for which the most high is going to destroy so the last portion of scripture i also want to get is back in the book of jeremiah again it's this 50th chapter because we need to make you aware of the the times that we are in and the times that we are about to come into that's why i call this the title of this lesson um you know war you know to make you ready for the battle so this is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 22. It says, A song of battle is in the land and of great destruction. And, uh, you know, as you all see that um, the Medes, the Russians are threatening, um, you know, Babylon, the Chinese. Uh, Moab is also threatening Babylon. They are testing um, missiles, launches in the Pacific. They ain't just testing that, you know, just for joke they are testing those things so that may, so that they make sure that it has a successful chance of um coming over here you know it says how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken down the hammer of the earth is babylon the great aka america it says how is babylon become a desolation amongst um nations and one of the ways he's going to do that is back in jeremiah 15 and 14 where you talk about you know spear you know no arrow for she for she had sinned against the most high she would be shot shoot at her right 
shoot at her. So that is how the Most High is going to bring uh, Babylon as a desolation amongst the nations. All right. So as the the end of this place is drawing to an end, so is the spiritual war that is going on in your life. You know the affli the affliction, the provo provocation, trials and tribulation that is um, being that we are being tested with on um, a daily basis. All right. So good up, prepare for the battle. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying until the the lack and encouraging. And until the next time, I say shalom.